Hey guys, this is Danielle, and I'm just going to take you through a deep stretch yoga session, only 30 minutes long, and you can either start on your knees or you can go into a comfortable crisscross position seated, which is where I'm going to get started. So I like to begin with tuning in with my breath and um, getting into that mindset, trying to calm my body and relax anything that's giving me stresses. So taking that deep breath in through the nose and exhale, relaxing the shoulders, maybe placing one hand onto the heart and one hand onto the stomach, recognizing and bringing awareness to your breath. Doing this a couple times to bring your body softness and maybe gently relax the hands back down onto the knees. And then I slowly like to begin kind of moving the body nice and gentle, beginning from the head as you shift the neck over to one side and to the other, recognizing if there's any stiffness, any tightness on one side versus the other. And then I begin to move the shoulders. Inhale as you bring them up towards the ears. Exhale as you round them down, pinching the shoulder blades together, trying to open up the chest. And as you start to open your eyes, you can lift the arms up, begin to make smaller movements into the body as you lean to one side and to the other, extending that left arm out to the side, lifting that right arm. I try to pinch my shoulder blade back before I start to rotate the body to allow me to get more range of motion. Beginning to continue to breathe as I switch sides here. Deep breath in, pinch the shoulder blade back, then begin to rotate that body. Continue to breathe. Extending that left arm back up towards the sky or the ceiling and then bringing the hands forward as you round the back here. And then interlacing the hands back behind, opening up the chest. And then move the shoulders around just a little bit, loosen up. We're gonna go ahead and kind of stretch the hands, the forearms. A lot of times these kind of get missed, especially with sitting all day or being at a computer all day. Um, this is definitely something to focus on. And so I've kind of switched to the other side. So palm up first and then palm down. Deep breath in, exhale, try to relax. And then you shake out the wrist. Doing the left side now as I'm ex um, placing one hand on top of the left here. Trying to relax and then go ahead and flipping the palm down here. And then begin to shake the wrists out. Now we're kind of going to work near the spine here and the shoulder region. So um, I'm taking that right hand as I cross it in front and then the left hand is coming underneath. Sometimes I start to move my neck around here and recognize that it's a little bit tight as well. So you're always um, welcome to move the neck around here as well. And right here, we're going to try to stretch a little more into the tricep. So if you can't go that far into the tricep, that's fine. Um, take it in increments. Um, you do need to have a little more of a chest opener. So it is a little bit difficult for some people. And then shake it out again. So now just doing the other side, I'm crossing that left arm and then wrapping the right underneath. You wanna make sure that you pinch those shoulder blades before you 
cross anything over so you can stabilize the spine better. Again, take those deep breaths to relax the muscles. Maybe tilt the neck if you need to, or if it fits your stretch, your practice. And then we are stretching out the triceps on this side. Again, take that deep breath and try to relax the muscle. And then begin to unwind the arms, shake out the shoulders again. And now we're gonna get more into the upper trap, a little bit of the neck muscles. Um, and a lot of this is kind of missed too. So it's very important to focus on these small muscles that we have. And you can kind of see that I rotate the neck down um, it targets different muscles and kind of allows me to stretch them. And then I'm just going to take the other hand. So that's a left hand coming behind and I'm interlacing. It doesn't have to meet the right hand. And then kind of moving around here as well. And you can start to recognize if you're tied on one side or if you need to kind of move the neck a little bit. Again, this is a very sensitive muscle because they're very small. So just be really gentle with yourself when you're um, coming up to these stretches here. And then I start to unwind, relax the shoulders again, tune in with your breath, and then we can begin to go on all fours. So we'll go into quadruped and you want to make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. I like to start with some weight shifts. So we want to kind of rock forward and back. And this is just kind of waking up those, um, those joints, um, our proprioception of where our joints are in the body as we maybe we start to rock to the side now and recognizing if there's any tightness as well. And I kind of do some circle motions so you can go clockwise, counterclockwise. This is a good way of stretching out the wrists as well. And now I'm introducing cat cow. So exhale as you round the back, pushing away from the mat. Inhale as you drop the belly, possibly trying to get your gaze up towards the ceiling. Again, exhale, round. And then inhale, try to relax. So you can do this a couple times. And this just really benefits the spine. Um, and then continuing to breathe as you go through cat cow. And then as you begin to bring your back to a neutral spine, we are going to come into child's pose. So I'm widening my knees so they can allow my chest to fall a little bit further. My arms are extended. I'm softening my chest. Sometimes this might be uncomfortable for people who are having a pinching sensation in their shoulders. So you can take the arms out a little bit wider maybe even make them in a 90 degree angle. So you wanna take a deep breath in and then exhale, soften your chest so your shoulders are relaxed. And then start to guide your arms forward and then we'll just walk them over towards the left side. So you're stacking that right hand on top of the left. I like to press my hands into the ground and then exhale, sink the hips to the right side. So you should be feeling a stretch onto that right side of the body. And then you start to walk your hands over towards the center, towards that right side. Deep breath in, exhale, press into the ground here, 
and maybe recognize if there's any difference on one side versus the other. As we begin to come up into a tabletop position, I'm going to try to stretch out the lower um, legs of the body. And so the calf area, we're just going to rock the body back on an exhale, inhale, rock forward. So I'm just kind of using my body, my hips, inhale, rock forward, exhale, sink it back. So that way there's really not much going on into the wrists. Um, and then you can always guide that right leg in, kind of challenge yourself into balancing tabletop. But we'll go ahead and move on to the other side here. So again, exhale, press back, inhale, rock forward. Continuing to do this a couple times on that side as well. So now as I draw that left leg back in, I'm going to go into a gentle flow. And I'm gonna give myself some room for my hands to walk slightly forward. And as I do that, I'm slowly gonna lower my chest down first. Inhale as I come up into Cobra. Slight bend in the elbows and then back down on an exhale. This time I'm gonna come back into Cobra again, going a little bit further, maybe about 90 degrees in the elbows, and then back down. I took my hands a little bit wider too as well. This time coming into a full extension with the arms, and then exhale, relax back down. Inhale, press up into tabletop, and then exhale, sink it back into child's pose. Remember to widen your knees here so you can allow the chest to be open. You're gonna do this flow again two more times. So if you, for some reason, are having trouble coming into that cobra a little bit higher, just make sure that you are pinching those shoulder blades. It's not just only into the arms here and your head positioning as well. But if this is a little difficult or challenging for you to do, just keep the elbows flexed. Again, sinking back into that child's pose. Relax the shoulders here. One last time. Exhale, going back down. Inhale, pinching the shoulder blades. Exhale, relax. Inhale. As you come up, exhale, draw back down. Slowly pressing back into child pose. So now as we come up into tabletop, we're going to thread the needle. And so your knees need to be wide in here. Left arm is centered in first. Right arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling. You're going to take that right arm, thread it underneath not dropping the shoulder down just yet. We're just kind of getting ourselves warmed up. So on the third time, you'll drop that right shoulder down. So right here, I'm gonna exhale, relax. And now my left arm can either stay where it's at, or I can walk a little bit above my head there, or maybe even come behind to open up the shoulder even more. Whatever you feel is comfortable for you, is what you can do in this pose right here. Again, making sure that you are breathing here to relax the body. And then we'll slowly begin to come out of that. As you reach that left arm down, press it in towards the mat, reach that right arm up towards the ceiling, and then shake it out right here. You're gonna go to the other side. So center that right arm in, widen the knees, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling, exhale, thread it underneath. Again, two more times here, and on that third time, that's when you can drop the shoulder down. We just kind of get that spine warmed up into rotating here. And then again, right arm can relax where it's at, walk above the head, or even behind 
rested onto the back of the hip here. Okay, so we are still going to stay onto the mat and we're just going to bring the legs forward from here. We're coming into a single leg fold. So I'm going to start with my right leg. My left leg is going to be flexed in towards my chest and then come out to the side. So again, starting with that right leg, bending that left leg out, and I can show you my position forward and then rotating back. So you want to make sure that you're going to hinge at the waist, lead forward with the chest, the head is the last thing to fall down. Make sure you begin in a good posture position, chest is open, and then exhale, reach forward. We want to try to keep the range that we have, and so you're only going to take a halfway lift. So inhale as you kind of walk it up a little bit, see as I'm not going all the way, and then exhale trying to reach a little bit further here. Continuing to breathe and then exhale reach a little bit further So this is how you can get in tune with the breath as well as with the body Trying to lengthen the muscles even further And then slowly drawing back up so we're going to keep it to that right side. We're just going to cross that left leg over, keep it flex where it was. And then either you can just hold on to the leg right here, get a nice stretch near the buttocks region, and or you can even go into a twist. So that right hand is going to go towards the other side, left arm is going to reach behind. You're going to take a deep breath in here and then exhale, twist. Really, really important to make sure that you're breathing whenever you are twisting the spine. And then you're gonna rotate back to the other side. So now we're just gonna keep everything where it's at, but we're gonna take the arms back behind us. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prop that right leg up. So it's just gonna kind of come up just like so, and you're almost into like a little figure four but we're still lifted with arms behind so all I'm doing is I'm just rocking the legs from side to side here and I'm just really trying to move a little bit more into the hips and then once you feel it starts to loosen up you're gonna go ahead and drop the legs over to that left side. So I'll show you from a frontal view too because you really can't see it from there and um, some people might think it, it's impossible to do but you really are just dropping the legs down to the side and if they don't fall all the way down to the side that's fine. Hips are at 90 degrees and then I'm going to reach that right arm up towards the ceiling and thread it underneath so almost just like we did before but you want to just make sure that your glutes are engaged and you'll feel a nice stretch more on that hip flexor as well you'll get a little bit as well onto the um, adductor muscles and then again inhale reach up that right arm exhale thread it underneath And then we're just going to rotate the legs from side to side, windshield wipe, side to side. So now just shaking out the legs here, we're going to do it all again to the left side this time. So that right side is going to be flexed, single leg fold here, hands rested onto the knee. Good posture, deep breath in, exhale, walk the hands forward. Again, hinge at the waist, lead forward with the chest. 
inhale the halfway lift, not all the way, exhale, see if you can walk yourself a little bit further. You can check out your toes, this is where I usually kind of, kind of recognize how I need a pedicure. And another breath in here. And then slowly making your way back up, nice and gentle. Now you're gonna cross that right leg over and then you're coming into the twist on this side. So that right arm is gonna come back behind, left arm is crossing over. Deep breath in and then exhale, twist here. Continuing to breathe. And then slowly rotate back to center. Again, on this side, you're keeping where everything, everything where it's at, and then you're just bringing the arms behind, gently rocking from side to side here so that, that left leg is just slightly propped up and the right leg was just there. And then once that's loosened up, you're just gonna drop the legs down to the side Again, I'm going to kind of show you from this angle, right arm is extended out towards the mat and then you're going to activate that glute as you lift that left arm up towards the ceiling. So again, my hips are at 90 degrees, inhale, lift, exhale, you're going to thread underneath. Squeeze the glute to get that extension and then you're going to exhale, thread underneath. So just a really good hip mobility kind of movement pattern. This one's like one of my favorite ones. And then um, you're just gonna go ahead and windshield wipe the legs from side to side, loosen it up. We're almost done guys. So we're now going to go onto our backs and the sun came out, so I'm gonna get a tan, and that right leg is gonna cross over. Coming into a figure four, you're gonna interlace the hands between the legs. So if you really can't reach that far underneath, and you are pretty tight, you can always use a towel or a strap, um, but you should feel a stretch into that right glute. And sometimes if I am a little bit tighter, I try to rock from side to side, and that tends to kind of loosen it up a little bit better. And just make sure that you're breathing. You can extend that leg out towards the ceiling and then exhale, see if you can go a little bit further into that stretch. And then slowly relax that back down. Windshield wipe the legs from side to side here. Continuing to breathe. Keeping it to that right leg. We're coming into a hamstring stretch. So I like to start with that left leg still flexed and then the right leg is gonna extend. And then slowly begin to lower that left leg down. So initially your right leg should be fully extended. Um, I actually had surgery on this leg, so um, I think it's just always kind of tight to begin with and then it slowly starts to straighten out, but um, you can also use a strap as well. So if you use a strap, it'll be a little bit nicer. You can wrap it around the ball of the foot there and then get that full extension a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna slowly release it down here again. Maybe um, we're gonna start onto that left side now. Figure four stretch on this side. Again, recognize that there's any difference on one side versus the other. And then kind of focus on balancing the two. So again, I'm just rocking back and forth, interlacing the hands together. The hardest part for most people is that they wanna lift up that chest. They're not relaxing their neck down. And so that's just really important when you're doing these stretches. You wanna make sure that 
those muscles are relaxed so you can focus on these muscles that you're trying to stretch. And then slowly you can start to relax that down. Windshield wipe the legs from side to side and we are going to stretch the hamstrings down on this side as well. Right leg is going to extend to this left side. Maybe it's a little bit better than that right. So probably a better idea to use the strap. Now that I'm looking at this now. <laughs> but um, you want to make sure again that that um, leg is as straight as it can be. So right here I would probably make a modification to seize the strap and then just kind of lower down the leg so I can get that full extension in. So now just bringing the knees in towards the chest and then you're just gonna go into a supine twist here. So I started with that right leg and then just kind of letting the chest be open with that right arm and then I'm slowly crossing that right leg over and then rotating my head over to the other side so that way that my spine is a little more neutralized there. Um, if you this is something that's kind of hard for you to do you can always keep that right leg and just cross it over a little bit to draw towards that right shoulder you don't have to come to that full twist. And then give yourself a nice big squeeze knee to chest switch sides here and then deep breath in, exhale, cross that left leg. Don't forget to open up the chest on that left side, so extending that left arm long and then rotating the head to the other side. Sometimes you can extend that left leg out to get a little more into the muscles to the side of the leg. Um, it's just your preference. Again, you can use the strap here as well. Continuing to breathe as you draw that left leg in, both knees come into the chest here. Now, as you bring your knees in towards the chest, you're gonna take a deep breath in and then exhale, bring them in closer. That kind of just helps the back relax as we move into happy baby. So for happy baby, you wanna just make sure that the hands are pressing into the feet. So that way the skin target the lower back and you wanna make sure that the back is flattened onto the mat here. And you can rock from side to side, drawing the legs back together and then relaxing back down onto the mat. The legs are gonna be extended here as we come up to the end of class. So whether this is just all you needed today or maybe you just need some sort of mental relaxation, we're coming into corpse pose to kind of end this um, practice here. So begin to take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale, release through the mouth. Again, deep breath in through the nose, exhale, relax. Taking this time to soften the body from your toes all the way up towards your shoulders. Continuing to breathe normally as you start to move the feet and the fingers, making small movements. And then kind of waking up the whole spine as you lift the arms above the head and rolling over to your most comfortable side here. Gently pressing yourself up into a seated position. And that's it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and hopefully that makes you guys feel a little bit better. Um, if you're kind of a little bit tight and need a little bit more movement going on. Thank you guys so much.